Fu, it is Shay back again, and today I am with Dr. Alan Goldhammer. I call him Dr. G. I don't know how he likes that or not. Besides being the best, most incredible chiropractor I've ever had the opportunity to see in my life, he also is the founder and director of True North Fasting and Health Center here in Santa Rosa, where I live. It's one of just a handful of water fasting facilities in the country. Um, can you just tell people a little bit about, well, introduce yourself and then tell a little bit about your center. Oh, the True North Health Center, we've been here for over a quarter century now. It's our start of our 26th year. Um, and we do have an integrated medical staff. We have doctors of medicine and chiropractic and osteopathy and psychology and naturopathic medicine now. And we specialize in the supervision of detoxification programs, including water and juice fasting as well as using diet and lifestyle to help people with chronic diseases overcome their problems and learn to eat, eat healthier. Well, since healthier. You, your specialty is really like knowing what to feed people to get them well and knowing when to stop feeding them to get them well. And I've had the opportunity to do a little bit of water fasting with your supervision, sort of. I know you would have rather I had been here, but you were gracious enough to supervise me long distance. And one thing that I thought would be a really great question for the raw food community is I've been noticing on forums that people will say, I'm going to do a fast. I'm going to do a water fast. I'm going to do a juice fast. I'm going to cleanse. And I'll address the cleansing later. But if you could just, I'm noticing that people maybe don't understand like how to prepare for a fast or even what the right reasons to fast are. They're not scheduling for it. They're going about their normal daily activity. They're just doing it to drop weight. So maybe you could address that a little bit. Well, I think that's a very important area. The idea is that you know the body is always generating byproducts of metabolism and toxins and getting exposed. And the body is always trying to detoxify. And if you can detoxify faster than you're accumulating materials, you're getting healthier. And if for some reason you're accumulating materials faster than you're able to detoxify, eventually that becomes a limiting factor. So the idea of cleanses and fasting is to give the body kind of a, an extra edge, a head start to try to move in the right direction faster than the wrong direction. Um, the best cleanse is to just stop doing the things that are making you toxic to begin with. Stop the meat, fish, fowl, eggs, dairy products, oil, salt, sugar, processed foods, alcohol, Coffee. drugs, etc. So that the body's not being overloaded to begin with. And the moment you do that, the body begins to detoxify itself faster than it accumulates. Now let's say though you have an individual that despite their best efforts, they're still not able to overcome an accumulative problem. Well then you can give it a little edge by lightening the intake even more by perhaps going on fresh juices or raw foods only. Or to probably the most efficient method would be a period of water only fasting. The problem with water only fasting is it's a very intense, very rapid form of detoxification which isn't good for everybody at all times. So sometimes there's a little bit of judgment that takes place when that's actually the best method. Usually, the first step is just clean up the diet or lighten up the diet. And for the vast majority of people, that's going to be enough for them to start to move in the right direction. Fasting is really in those situations where you need to do it in a massively more intense or rapid way. And with that, the risks that come with that, particularly for people that are on medications or have significant health problems. So it is optimal to be supervised, if possible, especially if you have a real serious health challenge. Well, first of all, for cleansing programs, people are able to do that on their own the moment they want to do it. For water-only fasting, that's best done under a supervision, just because the, it, it is a very intense process and it can get fairly complex, particularly when you're dealing with medical management issues. So, so for people who are maybe wanting to just, they're not ready for water-only fasting, they're not even ready for maybe even a juice fast, you're talking about the right kinds of foods to eliminate all that stuff and to start feeling better. But what would you, I mean, we've talked about this. You advocate like raw, high raw by volume, well, vegan. If a person's, yeah, I mean, the general diet that we recommend is a vegan diet that's free of oil, salt, sugar, and added and processed foods. Um, the, the ratio of raw or, and whether the cooked foods are included and the degree that they are might have some individual. Uh, variation, but, the, but a cleansing diet is more about what you're not eating exactly. than what it is. It's not the juices, it's not the vegetables that cleanse you. It's not overloading the system with all that processed material. In other words, don't be drinking your coffee and eating lots of sugar, but having your juice and thinking that juice is doing anything inside that environment. And if you're really serious about cleansing, realize it's not just food. 
Are you getting the rest you need? Are you in an, an emotionally and physically supported environment that allows the body to heal faster than it's getting sick? All of those variables become important if you're actually trying to give the body a chance to do what it's doing. What's worse sometimes is a person saying, well, I want to do a cleanse, but I don't want to take off time work. I'm not going to rest. I'm not going to stop drinking coffee, but I'll just stop eating for a few days. You could actually induce more stress in the body than you benefit from just because you're not actually giving the body an environment where it can try to do what it does best, which is healing. Thank you so much for saying that. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, Dr. Goldhammer was one of our most popular speakers for Monday Night Live last year, and he's going to do a couple of different Monday Night Live events this year. He's the author of The Pleasure Trap and The Pleasure Trap, is it Cookbook? And The Health Promoting Cookbook. The Health Promoting Cookbook. You can find them at healthpromoting.org. Dot com. All this information will be below this video. And just thank you so much for your time. It's, my it's pleasure. a pleasure. Nice to see you again. See you soon. Bye.